Hello everyone, how are you? Today I'm gonna be making this beautiful card. It's a butterfly card. We're gonna be using some of our glitter tape and some of our washi tape. So if you guys wanna make this with me step by step, keep on watching. I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly what to do. It's gonna be an exciting little video. So let's, let's get started. So first we're gonna be needing a, some of our gold glitter tape. Then we're gonna be needing some of our lavender tape. Well, wash tape and it has butterflies on it. it's really pretty and then we're gonna be needing some white cardstock this is a 12 by 12 we're gonna be using some little rhinestones in their lavender some of our foam tape dots we're gonna be using die cuts from Sizzix the butterflies a small, really tiny one and a bigger one. Then I'm going to be using this block with the stamp that takes my friend on it. A little block so we can stamp. And I'm going to be using these pigment inks. It's going to be a green and a gold. Also, we're going to need a squirting board. I don't have a squirting board here, but I'm going to be using this to squirt. So I'll show you guys how. Then also... I'm going to be using my little die cut Sizzix machine. It's right here. And then this, I could trim my paper, a paper trimmer. So let's get started. So what we're going to do first, we're going to start with our 12 by 12 card saw. So we're going to cut this uh, 6 by 6. So let's get started. Okay guys, so here's my paper trimmer. We're gonna go six by six. So we're gonna go right here. We're gonna cut it straight down. So we did this part. Oh, one more thing I forgot. Then we're gonna cut this again. We're gonna get a score that is a six by six again. So we're gonna get this and we're gonna cut it. So then you have two pieces like this, okay? Now, we're going to get our die cut machine. This is my Sizzix die cut machine. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to place my butterfly die cut. Where is it? She ran away. Where are you? Okay, found her. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my paper down, okay? I'm going to get my butterfly, and we're going to center it, okay? So, see where the center is at. So, right about there. I'm going to place the top of my plate down. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to cut it. So, it's right here. I'll cut so this is what we're going to be needing, okay? Look how pretty this cuts. We're not going to be using this, but I mean, you can put it inside. That'll be super cute. So that's one. We're going to do the same thing all over here. We're going to get our paper, and we're going to make three of the smaller butterflies. This is another small die cut. And this is by Sizzix. It's a butterfly. So, I mean... So what we're going to do is, again, figure it from up here so it can be faster than so it's. Okay, so, so once done, when they're that small, it's a little bit hard, but I have this little tool that I just punch it out with, or you could graph, I mean, or you could just kind of tap it and it comes off. Okay, so that's one. We're gonna be doing three. So I don't have three of them, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the same thing over three times. Okay, same thing. Same thing. It's cut. Get my little tool. Take it out. One more time. We need three of them. Put it down. Three. So, 
So this is, I'm using the paper of the one that I used for the 6x6. Okay, I'm gonna pop it out. Give me a little tool. And take it out. Ah, come out, come out. Okay, there we go. So that's it. And then I won't be needing this little machine anymore. So we're gonna do it with that. Let's do that. Okay, so now what we're gonna be needing it's gonna be this one. This is the other half by six by six that we use. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold it straight in half, okay, just like this. I'm going to get my scoring tool, scoring tool, I'm sorry, and I'm going to do this, make it flat. It just gives it a cleaner um, line instead of a wrinkle line. So this is it. So like this right so now what I'm gonna do is this is gonna be what we're gonna put on top right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some of my washi tape and where are you it's gonna be some of our lavender with butterflies so I have one open right here so this one we're gonna be using so let's get so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a couple of lines okay just just like this can you see what I'm doing I'm just gonna make a couple of lines like that one after another so super close no white in between just like that I mean if you guys want a cleaner cut when it comes down to your washi tape you could actually grab the scissors and cut it but I mean Honestly, it doesn't matter because you won't be able to see it, the inside of it, because we're going to cover it. So, so we keep on going. Let me see. And it's pretty easy to cut. I mean, it's thin enough to do it. And then we keep on going. So now I'm going to check. If I still, oh, perfect. So I did about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I did about seven strips. It was perfect. So you see this? So this is kind of how it looks in the inside. And then this is our other. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, you usually, I usually use a dauber to do this, but I don't have a dauber. So I'm going to show you guys a quick little way to do it. So I'm going to get my old pigment ink. Ah. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this little part out the way, and I'm just going to dab it. Just so it could give it a little bit more definition, we're just going to do this. Okay. And then, I'm going to get some of my clean pigment ink. And I'm going to do the exactly same thing. It doesn't have to be a clean. I just want it kind of messy. Just kind of, just to give it a little bit of de definition, honestly. If you want something more finer, you could just do it at the ends. I really don't want that. So, that's it. So it's going to look something like this. Can you guys see it? It's like a yellowish with a little bit of green tone. Okay, let me clean this. Let's start. Okay, so now that's done. So now I'm going to get my foam little dots. I'm a, you can do it two ways. You could either use your foam dots and pop it out or that's some, you could get this is our glue tape. And you could just run it like what I'm doing. Then it might just be better. And you just just so it could be stuck good. Okay. 
then you grab your card where you put the washi tape at, this one, and you lay it straight across. Make sure it's straight. And you have something like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little butterflies. And what I'm going to do with them is they're right here. That was the other one and the other one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the leftover of my little ink on there. And I'm going to dab it. So they could get a little bit of that yellowish, greenish tone like my other paper. You see? Usually with the little daubers to do the ink, it's so much easier. But let's see. So these, I just grab them and fold them in half. Grab them. And fold them in half. Or if you guys don't want to do it like that, I mean, I've done it like this. This is how I got started doing it. So what you do is you grab it and you kind of just ink the corners a little bit. You see? And you could do the same thing over here. I kind of like doing this. So you just keep on going. And you do the same to this little butterfly. Come on, open up. So you grab it and you ink it. Same way. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of my little piece of foam tapes and I'm going to put it right here, right in the center. And then if you guys want, so this is it, right? So I'm going to put it down so I can remember how it looks. So I'm going to get the other one and I'm going to do the same thing to all of them. I'm going to put a little foam dot in the back. Let me see. Let's fold this one down. So we're going to put a foam dot in the back of this one as well. Okay. So I'm going to set these right here aside really quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this same extra piece of paper. And I'm probably going to do it about an inch of thickness so I'm gonna get my sack to my and I'm gonna cut it and then the length I probably do three inches so cut it okay so make sure it's straight so then gonna grab my scissors and do it oh, I actually ended up doing it a little bit smaller so I'm gonna cut it right at half and then I'm gonna do this there's a die cut for this I know that if you guys don't want to eyeball it too much like I am so it's something like you see a little flag so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the same thing with this one I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna ink it a little bit in the corners okay let's close it so it won't dry so then I'm gonna get my stamp where are you where's my little block it's right here so we're gonna this one I'm a we need black ink for this one so this is a little black ink we're gonna just just black ink we're gonna be using so I'm gonna get my block block I'm sorry and just straight down so it's gonna go on my little flag the one I made whoops make sure it's right so my friend just straight down so it's done okay let's close this let's move it out the way let's move this out the way so then I'm gonna turn this I'll be needing this one more time so I'm gonna put some more foam tape so I'm gonna put four one in each corner one two let's see three four 
And let's do one in the center so it could be nice popped. Popped it up. Okay. So I'm going to remove the little sticky things away from it. And you can purchase everything I'm using except the white cardstock. We have glitter cardstock that I'm pretty sure will look amazing. But, um, or the ink, obviously, we don't carry that as well. So, let's see, I'm doing it right. So then I, oh, I'm missing one part. Wow. So the part that I was missing, it's this one. So, it's our gold washi tape. How can I forget that, huh? So the way I'm doing this one, I'm starting it from right here, right at the corner. So I'm going to lay it. You see what I'm doing? So I'm laying it. Nope. The good thing is that it removes. So if you guys kind of mess up, you guys can keep on messing with it. And it won't. It will work perfectly fine. So it's once right there. And then I'm going to cut this little end because it's uneven. And then I'm going to do the same thing to this side. Let's do it. Okay. So then I'm going to get my little knife and I'm going to cut right at the end of it. See? Perfect. Ah, come on. Same thing on this side. see okay so now it's starting to look more like I was forgetting that step okay so now what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna grab my little flag and I'm gonna put it down right here right about here if you guys want to put it in a different place I mean I'm just doing it exactly the way I did the other one I'm gonna get my little rhinestones and I'm gonna use there's I mean I got these at Michaels and they're just a bunch of different sizes I'm going to put it right in the center like I did this one. Then I'm going to grab my little butterflies. I'm going to put one right here above exactly where I did. Where it takes my friend. And I'm going to tilt it a little bit. Same thing. I'm going to grab another one of my little rhinestones. There. And then I'm just going to fold it a little bit more. So it could be nice with the other one, okay? Same thing with this one. I'm going to put exactly where I put the other two. I mean, if you want to move them around, you can. I mean, it's your art. You don't have to do it exactly like me. So I'm going to just fold it a little bit. There we go. Let's put the, and these rhinestones do have glue in the back, so that's why I'm not putting any more glue on it or tape. Same thing to this one. Fold it. Mm, there we go. Put a little rhinestone on there. Mm, let's see. Come on work with me there we go oh nope it came back with me <laughs> so that's it so we fold it and this is our card and I have another idea okay guys so I had to put the camera up because it was kind of dark <laughs> so this is the finished product so we used our lavender washi tape and our gold glitter tape and look how pretty is this card you could put any other stamp or make it you know similar you could even get your butterfly and put it in here that would be super pretty and write something in there if you guys want so this is the one we made together and this is the one I had made so you can t this one has a little bit more of a gold yellowish tone to it and this one not so much but I mean 
it's up to you how much ink you want to use to do it. So thank you very much for you guys watching, my friends. I will stay. I will see you. I will talk to you guys soon. And let me know if you guys want anything else or if you guys want to see any type of other videos or if you guys have any other ideas or any tips. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.